all in this together make this world better hello there everyone here we are at what's the food festival i'm julita brilliant and this is durian rider if you don't know this uh, educator yet um i'm really excited to meet you here it's good to meet you good to put a face to the name yeah. it's great everyone's joining up together here yes because you have one kind of perception perception of person when you watch videos mm -hmm. and then when you meet it's different things um so um well at first when i started this diet going 80 10 10 i had some like the things i didn't understood and i kind of was not sure yeah yeah so you know um what would you advise to people like who think that um you know they think well how you can eat all the fruits all you want and uh like uh, as many calories until you get full you don't have to have any restriction or you know um to you know deny yourself food so what would you tell to them you know like how to understand this diet and i guess basically when you eat your natural foods fruits and vegetables being the optimum you don't have to worry about limiting your calories it's like a it's like a horse eating grass it, it doesn't yeah they it? don't count you know i just, just ate eat. 100 grams and yeah. this was like no. three grams of protein and just, they just eat and when they're done they stop and when they're hungry they eat more so i tell people like with the fruit lifestyle you just keep eating if you want to eat eat and be patient with the results because it can take a while but, but people want the 30-day transformation or yeah. the, the three month transformation or even maybe the one year transformation but it depends on where you're at and where you're going to go but you're going to get results it's just a matter of time so it might be a different time for you than someone else so compare yourself with yourself but understand time is your friend not the enemy really give time because um it, 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 as I would say for me to experience the real results and, sti I'll, and still I have, you know, I still there is a lot, a lot of time and I'm going to even get more results but I think a year is the reasonable time because you've been eating like all your life a lot of cooked and different and not fruits and vegetables so your body has to readjust like everything you can. Definitely. And, and people have been eating a lot of animal hormones all their life, even organic animal products are full of hormones, the naturally occurring yes. hormones, and the arachidonic estrogen, acid. Estrogen, like in yeah, dairy. Estrogens. Yeah, so that can, what, our hormone levels can be out of whack, so it can take time for our bodies to heal, which is, is the key word, healing the body, regenerating and restoring that natural balance. So someone with really bad habits, like lots of coffee and caffeine and adrenal burp out and starvation might take a little bit longer than someone who's being a bit more health conscious they more of their life so time is the secret and in the right direction direction is more important than speed yes I, I agree and even slow transition is better than yeah, yeah. maybe going overnight but just, no you can jump in you can jump you can jump, in. you can jump right in and just eat enough of calories can, not to feel hungry exactly you can jump right in you can get rid of the meat and the dairy and uh, you, know, you can have some backup foods, like some healthy you know, vegan backup foods, maybe like rice, steamed rice, not fried rice, steamed rice, steamed potatoes, steamed corn as like a backup food to get potatoes. enough calories. The steamed potatoes with like a you know, low fat, uh, vegan, low sodium sauce. It's like a backup plan. Some broccoli, steamed broccoli. Yeah, definitely. But you can jump right in. You can jump right in, <laughs> definitely. With fitness, I would say people ease into it. Uh -huh. Because if you, if you go, all right, today, yeah. I'm going to start running. I'm going to run every day of the week and I'm going to run 10 miles every day. Get shin splints, sore muscles. You're going to snap some shit up. So you want to ease into fitness but jump into dietary change. Yeah, well, that's great. Um, so now in a day, what would be your breakfast, lunch and dinner? Bananas, bananas and bananas. Right now the bananas aren't ripe yet at the fruit festival. So I'm eating like light cheese, papayas, uh, some dates, some melons, got tomatoes here, uh, apples. I don't normally eat apples, but the apples here have been so good. The Pacific Rose uh -huh. is super, super sweet. And uh, so fruit, 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 and maybe some vegetables for dinner. 
Like yeah. heavy on the fruit. I'm, the reason why I focus on the fruit is it gives me that energy to, and the to give to people. Calories, it gives the calories. Gives the calories. Gives the glucose, the sugars you need. Okay, and um, so also while well, I was at one of your lectures that you've done here at Woodstock Fruit Festival about the YouTube, yeah, and uh, we were talking a lot about the comments and that uh, about the negative comments yeah. and like like honestly, don't you ever feel a little bit like hurt by those comments? Or? At, at the start, I did, but you know, like you probably get comments in this video, like, but it's. Uh -huh. That's just, that's just internet, that's just YouTube. It's like sitting on the grass and an ant bites you on the bum. That's just what happens when you sit in the grass sometimes. It doesn't mean you're never going to, you know, you just, you know, you flick just the ant off, it, keep going. Because you know that your message is, is truth and you're spreading the good information, the very necessary information. That, that's the thing, and that's what always keeps me driving along is that I'm spreading the truth. I'm spreading the message that needs to be said. So. I don't have time to take it personally. I've only yeah. got time to give the message. It would be, it would be stupid of me to, to not do it because I'm scared of haters. You've got to just focus on giving the message. And that's why some people, you know, are not really successful because they kind of afraid oh, yeah. I'm gonna like say I'm And you know, when exposing the truth videos, like. How do you feel like, do you feel sometimes, oh, maybe I shouldn't deal with this like educator, not like expose them like this? Do you like think about that? Not anymore. I used to. But I thought, no one else is saying it. Everyone's thinking it, but no one's out there saying it. I'm going to say it because I'm thinking it and so is other people. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and I'll do it with, you know, a bit of respect and, and try and keep it more on the... Not personal. Yeah, not personal, but on the debate. Talk, yeah. focus, I focus on the dietary debate or the lifestyle debate versus the person. Like I don't get involved with their marriage or whatever. Yeah. I, I focus more on the nutritional or lifestyle debate at hand. Because, I think that's important. Yeah, if they promote it to the public and you know, I think it's our responsibility to say if something we think yeah. is not. Right. When you put yourself out there as a health educator, then that's your you're gonna be at toward up, you be analyzed. You'll be analyzed. Exactly, you know? that's how it is. So anyone who takes offense to being analyzed but wants to be in the public spotlight, it's like <laughs> get used to it. Yeah. Like I get used to it. Yeah. It's, just, it's all fun. Okay. Um, so now about the sport. Um, so what's your daily activities? Typing. Okay. That's my, this, is, this is my main activity of the day. We typing and thinking. Outside of that. I do about 70 hours a week of this. Outside of that would be uh, cycling. I love to ride my bike and uh, running. I've started up running in the last couple of years, so I love to, to run. A little bit of kickboxing, um, sleeping, <laughs> and uh, just wrestling, wrestling with freely, you know, in front of each other around. It's just, just playing, but mainly. But yeah, cycling is good. Fun. Having fun. Having fun. Yeah, I, I don't like to call it exercise, I like to call it play. Uh -huh. I just lifestyle. Like, I like exploring places or introducing people to cycling like yes they did a 12 kilometer uh, cycle around here and there's some people who weren't that fit they were new to cycling so for me it was no effort at all but it was just great to see other people coming out and enjoying the cycling lifestyle so it was, for just me that felt company, special just good good energy it's also important yeah. if you just go there exercise put yourself and always on the stress like oh i hate doing this like yeah I can't wait when I'm going to finish, like, oh, yeah. okay, 15 minutes left, you know, but you got to have, like, fun. you got to have fun. And, yeah, sometimes you're doing a hard workout yeah. and you're counting it down because it just hurts so much, but even then you can still make it fun, like, oh, this fucking hurts so much, or... But, just, but yeah. I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah, you know? love the pain. Yeah. Love the pain and... Because it brings you up, you know, up to, it brings you then good feeling. Gives endorphins you and stuff. Endorphins, yes. So people often ask me how much... Well, pain, like you, do you have pain every day? It's like, no, about 5% of my training, volume wise, time wise, would be stuff that pretty hurts. And 95% of my training volume would be stuff that I can talk, I could, I could do this interview while I'm riding my bike or jogging along. Uh -huh. So 95% easy, talking pace, 5% where you can't talk. Because <laughs> yeah. you're breathing too catching hard. your breath and yep. to get the oxygen. So 95% and 5, so 95, 5. That's the secret for uh, fitness. That's what all the top athletes do. 5% intensity, 95% easy. 
That's like one time a week intense exercise and yeah. other days. Once a week where you turn yourself inside out for maybe 20 minutes. But even then, build up to that. So if you're new to running, build up to that slowly. But cycling is a good one because you can work pretty hard on the bicycle with the 5% intensity rule and uh, you can ease into it pretty well. Oh, sweet. Uh, okay, well, so you've been in the raw food world and uh, low fat, raw vegan diet, uh, a promoter and educator for since what year now? 2002 is when I started raw foods and so started talking at forums. Yeah, 10 years into raw foods. Vegan the whole time, not always raw that whole 10 years, but always vegan since 2001. And so I think that's why I can talk from experience because I've done all the experimentation. Yes. You know, I've had calories from tofu and rice and calories from fruits and vegetables and soy burgers. Yeah, lots of soy burgers, you know. I've had the best soy burgers in the world. Best burgers in the world have been soy burgers and uh, vegan, yeah. vegan pizzas, vegan chocolate, everything. And so no, I can say. No. I've eaten all those foods and they're good, but it's yeah. not like the fruit and vegetable. Not That's why I promote this as a priority. Not gonna give you the clarity and vitality and energy that you could get. Yes. Okay, so do you think the raw food like movement or people that come to your forum, do you think that did they change? Did it change the audience? What do you mean turnover or well do do the people that uh, are interesting in the raw food diet um, now is more and more people are interested. There is, there is. Now, how do you see the change? Do you see the growth? Because you've been for in it for so long. It's, it's getting people. huge. It's getting massive. We've got the Woodstock Fruit Festival yes. on. I mean, we've got 400, we've got a 50% increase. No, 100% increase from last year. 200 people to 400 people. Mm -hmm. That's unheard of in festive events, really. Like, it's getting massive. Massive. Next year we're gonna need like three like this event. It's it's awesome. It's maybe we'll do different locations. I've heard. Yeah, that. it's it's getting bigger and bigger, which is good. People want to get healthier. They want to lose the weight without the starvation and the drugs. They want to feel the good. The gimmicks, mi gimmicks doesn't work. Six, seven day six packs doesn't work. <laughs> if you starve yourself, you can, but it's not sustainable. Yeah. It's not sustainable. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to share? Would be just for people to have fun on the lifestyle, get enough calories please, get enough calories yeah. and really try and focus on getting early nights when you can. Sometimes you can't, like at the festival I'm having late nights, but I can do that this week because I've got a backlog You'll of early up. nights. I've got a back, I've got a, I've got some sleep yeah. credit. So early nights, as many carbohydrate calories from your favourite fruits as you want, drink enough water so your urine's clear, at least every two hours, ten times a day, urination clear. And have a backup plan when it comes to your diet, so you're not going all the way back off the wagon. That you do maybe you go from the just fruit. Stay vegan. Yeah, definitely stay vegan. Just stay low fat, and just have little backup plans, and do your best to get enough fruit in. That'd be my advice. Well, thank you so much. Always, Julia. Cool. Bye. -bye. See us. We all in this together. Make this